<sighs> Black Lives Matter, like, whatever. I have had quite a field day today. Oh, and got attacked by the same guy who attacked me last time. But I want to talk about that in another video. So, so this is, had to do with the P Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, the, so you've seen headlines like this. Pittsburgh Steelers at Alejandro Villanueva wears military veterans and on helmet covering and uh, so this guy the, is the only uh, player on the P Pittsburgh Steelers team who was replaced uh, Anton Rogers, Rogers Jr.'s name on his helmet with the military veterans which is who is actually someone who fought for the country and is a hero. <clears throat> so who is uh, Anton, Antoine Rhodes, Rhodes Jr.? So he is, uh, he, he was, he was a 17 year old African American who was like, who, who the shot in East Pittsburgh. And uh, so he was, uh, he was one of those people who was involved in like a drive-by shooting. If you don't know what a drive-by shooting is, I advise you to watch the music video for Light by Big Sean featuring Jer Jeremiah. So in the music video, it's like there is a in the first scene and and then during the first verse, the there's a little girl playing on the playing in right like in the front yeah front yard of her parents their house and everyone's just out like out on the lawn chairs just relaxing and then these drive-by shooters they just come by and they start shooting at people and the little girl gets shot since this is not a movie i am not going to spoil this is technically not considered a considered a spoiler but you sort of get it now so if you look at the lyrics uh So it was like, uh, so right about this part. Inside, outside. He said inside. So lately I've been trying to get what's inside, outside. So many people want to see my inside, outside. I'm in the city four hours east and south side when everyone outside but don't fuck with no outside. They're going up with the ones that don't want to hold now with the whole city coming back. And this is the part where, like, in the music video where. The little girl gets shot. And then the scene sort of stops and right there and then they're really like, Oh my god, we shot a kid. And the neighborhood. So the people in the hood, the neighborhood, they are like shooting back at that shooter. And by mistake, they end. You know. The drive-by shooter they realized they shot a girl, a young girl, and yeah, and then and the people from the neighborhood also noticed it too, and that's the part. So, so there was like a so there was a drive, so the police uh, in East East in Pittsburgh they uh, they pulled over the car, who like. In the vehicle, vehicle uh, that were like uh, the people like shoot, shooting at a uh, random people. They were like a uh, they pulled the vehicle over, and uh, the driver got they tried to like you know resist the rest, and and then two people ran ran out, and the one person is unnamed. The second person who ran another direction was Antoine Rhodes Jr. So of course he, he's trying to like get away because you know he part he was in a, like a he was also participated in that shooting in the drive by shooting, right? So so he was like in every right to like stay where he is and like you know he'll just get charged and it'll like so if you just like, res don't resist arrest it'll just make things easier for you.
So he's been uh, charged for a criminal homicide, homicide now, which is murder. Which is and this was uh, two years ago, two years ago. Uh, But this is also uh, mentioned in uh, 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 Matt, Matt Walsh, I, I believe, I think it was, on, on the Daily Wire, and yeah. Wait, it was like, yeah. And also, uh, Brandon Tatum, I mentioned this first, and, uh, oof. So head over to Brandon Tatum's channel, he'll, uh, break it down for you. So, of course, and Antoine, uh, he got shot because he was trying to resist arrest, he was trying to get away, and, of course, you... He most likely he also had a gun because there was a gun gunpowder on his hands, which is evidence that uh, he was he was in possession of a gun. So and they uh, sent him to the uh, hospital where he was like reported dead. So like the, the so his uh, fam family is like getting like so many so much like uh, money and like uh, just because uh, their kid was like dead and uh, and uh, people and uh, NFL uh, you should you should have already like boycotted the NFL because they're making poor choices right now they are like uh, supporting and praising people who are like basically criminals. Who could either, you know, be uh, on the drug, drug possession, illegal, or using uh, gateway drugs and uh, illegal drugs, not pres and uh, or having firearms, maybe killing somebody, participating in a drive-by shooting. It could be sexually assaulted somebody, or they assaulted somebody, threatened to attack somebody with a weapon, transporting illegal drugs or fire firearms across the border, be an accomplice to a shooting, be an accomplice, accomplice to this with somebody who might be like in drug possession so basically that any of those like reasons can get or even try to get rid of the rest can always get you in trouble so i think like yeah antoine rose's uh, parents uh, and his family should not deserve all the uh, all the these money people have like, like giving giving them Giving them because no, they don't deserve it. Because Antoine Rhodes uh, Jr. he just it's his uh, it's his fault for like participating in such like uh, and bad. Cause it's not like the, yeah. Because remember, like you know, it's not like uh, someone else is controlling him. It's like. Like he chose to, to do the bad life. He, ch if you want to, like a Anthony Brian Logan has mentioned, if you want to do the crime, you got to do the time. So, this is another reason. 
This is the newest uh, person now. So basically, like technically, like seventeen, seventeen years old, and uh, if you want to make a. a Many places uh, in the uh, USA uh, like requires the person to be like at least nineteen or twenty one to own a fire firearm or eighteen, but he's seventeen. He's just he's an old he's he was old enough to have a driver's license with supervision. So I don't care what the mother of Antoine Rose Jr. said, she is in the wrong, clearly. Because if she doesn't realize her son made a bad choice and And like in a certain movie that I've been one that I have watched before, the Karate, Karate Kid 2. Yeah. The word, one quote is like, was, that was mentioned is, the worst punishment than uh, death uh, by uh, someone who is not, who does not have a, does not have forgive, uh, have no forgiveness in their heart. Yeah. The worst punishment than death is living. So even like the P Pittsburgh and uh, it is also not mentioned that uh, all uh, the mayor uh, also uh, said that there should be a trial because of the uh, and uh, and it was a uh, basically against which was a uh, basically against the police officers for shooting the kid but. We could definitely see who is in the wrong. Anyone who was basically in there, like, uh, who was shot at people or, like, participated or was uh, um, complicit with the people who were, like, shooting at. So, that Anton Ro Rose, uh, alongside George Floyd, Ahmed Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Jacob Blake, Dion Kay, and a whole bunch of other names that I don't even know. He has joined basically the wall, wall of shame. And it is basically named, he joined the wall of criminals. Because, yeah, he is one. How can you say someone is like not guilty when they were like literally shooting someone and there's literally gunpowder on their freaking hands? Hmm? Oh, you know what? You know what you need. You need to do right now. Boycott the NFL, like you're doing. And boycott the NBA because they're both making mistakes. And also with the NBA, uh, LeBron James thinks he's like a spokesperson for all black people when she isn't. So he has done the. So, you know, you can obviously tell who is the criminal now. Black Lives Matter, stop supporting criminals!